medical MOSs were, were tend to be thought of as very versatile. And what that, what that means is that oftentimes we spend a lot of time in an office setting. At the core, what we do is field medicine, especially the 68 Whiskeys combat medics. MTF soldiers have a special duality where they need to have top of scope practice with their ICT, their individual critical tasks that are medically oriented for our soldiers. And then we like to complement their skill sets and bring them out to the field environment where they can also practice their soldier skills so that when they're called upon in future situations in any field environment, they're not only clinically proficient, but they're also tactically proficient. So they're able to do those basic tasks like care under fire, um, calling for a nine line medevac, land navigation, sea burning things like that. We're first and foremost soldiers, so this helps us with the technical skills that we need if we go downrange and applying it with our technical skills that we use in the hospital. If we were in like an actual combat zone or in a cash unit, this is something that we would need to know and we would need to learn, so it's good that they're preparing us for like future endeavors and not just what we do right now. Just, you know, if you're a medic, you need to know all, how to do all your different uh, tasks nope. as a medic. You just come out here and just drill those into them so when it comes to actually doing it, they know exactly what to, they need to do. If we can't get to the fight, we can't perpetuate the fight, we can't win the fight. If we can't get to the wounded battle buddy, we can't save the wounded battle buddy. We can't evac the wounded battle buddy. The key thing about being out in the field setting is you take it from the classroom, you take it from the didactic, from the, the, the academic mental exercise to putting it in the field setting where you really get to test whether you can apply the skill that you've learned or not. And, and that's critical. And the expectation is that they're not only medically proficient, but that they're army proficient because they've got to show up and be part of a team and lead a team or lead a squad. And I want these exercises to really train them to be on that same space, if not better, when they go wherever they go because they're our ambassadors of the AMED out in the line unit and we have to remain relevant and this is absolutely building into that space is showing that we're always ready and we're always ready to be part of a team.